In this video I will show you the three best ways to change clip speed in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get to it. Here you have a clip of me driving a motorbike down in Vietnam. And this is the clip we're gonna change the clip speed of. Since when I'm driving you can easily see when we have changed the speed of the video. Since then the motorbike will slow down as well. And in this example I said we will slow the speed down. So you can watch here is the original speed and we will drive slower than this. And maybe you can watch this speedometer as well and see if this slow down as well. So the first method to change clip speed is by simply right clicking on the clip in the timeline. Go to change clip speed and here at the right side of speed you have this number. Just hover your mouse over it, click hold and drag to the left to slow the clip down and drag to the right to speed the clip up. And this time we're gonna slow it down and we're gonna slow it down by about half the speed of the original uh, speed. So we're gonna set it to 50% and then just click on change. And if we now play through it, you can see that we are driving at a, a lot slower speed. This may be the easiest method to use but you may run into a few problems doing it this way if you don't know about them. So let me undo this uh, speed we set now and let me show you what I mean. So let's say you only want this part of the clip. So we're gonna split it in half and we're gonna speed up only this part which is the one you want in your video. So you right click on the clip, go to change clip speed and let's say we want to play it at double speed this time, so we're gonna set it to 200% like this, and then we're gonna click on change. And if we play through it now, you can see we are playing twice as fast, but you may also notice that the duration of the clip in the timeline still has the same length, which makes no sense, since when you speed up a clip by the double amount, then the, theoretically the clip should be half the length. But this is not the case here. So here the program has just compromised by using later parts of the video where, which you have cut out. So in order to prevent this I will now show you how to do it. So if we undo this now and we right click again, go to change clip speed, turn it up to 200%. Instead of just clicking right away on change now, you want to check off this one that says ripple sequence. So check this one off and then hit change. And now you can see that the clip is half the length and the program has not compromised by using later parts of the video that you don't want. And now let's get to the second method. This method is a bit more advanced but it can be really cool when you know about how to use it. So, to use this method, you just right click on the clip in the timeline. Then, this time, go to Retime Controls. And here, you can see you got all these triangles on your clip. Then, click on this uh, drop down menu here. And from here, you can do a bunch of different things. So, for example, if you don't just want to speed up the whole clip, you could here just click on 200%. And just speed it up in that way or you can set it to 50% and slow it down. So if you click here you can reset it to 100%. And another thing that's really cool by using this method. So let's say you want to just speed up this first part of your clip. Then you just set your timeline cursor here. You go to the drop down menu and click on add speed point. And once you have done this you can grab this grey handle here, click hold and just drag to the side like this and you're now just speeding up that part before the speed point. And also you can see we have a new drop down menu on this part of the clip as well. So you can still just click on 200% and now it will only affect the part before the speed point. You can also set multiple speed points throughout the clip if you want a variation in the speed. So let's say you want to speed this part of the clip up in 150%. You just go to add speed point and then you have a new handle here which you can change the speed width. 
The only disadvantage by using this method is that when you're playing through the clip and you get to the part where you have changed the speed, it will just suddenly just boom, go a lot faster. So you can't get that easing effect where it gradually turns up the speed, which in a lot of cases would be the more cinematic and nice looking thing to do. So to do this we will go to method number 3. So for this method you will once again right click the clip in the timeline and this time we will go to retime curve. So you can see all the methods we have applied is listed under one another here in this menu. So go to retime curve and once you can see this black box go to this arrow here just click on it. And we want to uncheck the retime frame and check off this retime speed. And now this horizontal line that runs through the whole clip is what represents the speed of our clip. So if you hover over the line here, you can see that the retime speed is now 100%, which is the original speed. So if you want to just speed up the whole clip, you just... Uh, point your cursor over here until you get these two triangles click hold and just pull it upwards like this And now you can see the clip is 150% and the further you drag it up the more you are speeding up your clip And you can also pull it downwards to slow it down like this And also notice that the duration of the clip is changing since we are changing the speed of the whole clip. And you can see in the corner here that it says 0% here, which means if you pull it all the way down to zero, you will play at, or you will have frozen the video. And here it says 300%, which means if you pull the line all the way to the top, you will play the video at 300%. And you can also change this number by just hovering your mouse over and dragging to the side like this. But what's really cool with this method is how you can change the speed throughout the clip and make that smooth speed which I told you about earlier. So let's say that when the video gets to 2 seconds here then you want the video to start speeding up to 200%. So to do this all you have to do is to click on this diamond here like this. And now you can just go to the line on this side and pull it upwards until you get to 200% like this. So now the clip is playing at original speed until here then it goes into 200% or double speed. And if you want that gradual speed up instead of just suddenly doing it, then all you have to do is to click on this speed point here or this circle, it will turn red. Then click on this bent line here. And now you can see that it goes a lot smoother into 200%. And you can grab these side circles here or side dots to change how much or how long you want the easing effects to go. And throughout the clip you can also set multiple speed points like this. If you want it to go back to 100% here, like this here. And then just click on the dot here and click on this bent line. And you will have a gradual slowdown to 100% once again. And by using this method, you can make amazing videos with all these different effects. If you want to know the three best methods to change clip duration, then check out this video where I will show you how. So, thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.